Hey everybody, it's Todd Brandon. In today's video, I'm gonna show you how to parse substrings of text from a larger string of text in Microsoft Excel using Python. But before we get to that, if you'd please take a minute to like the video, subscribe to the channel, and hit the little bell icon to get notifications of new videos, I'd certainly appreciate it. And please leave a comment below because I'd love to hear your feedback. So without further ado, let's get started. Hey everybody, so last week I did this video about um, a use case where I had a huge string of text that I needed to parse out into substrings. So what we did uh, is we used a few different of the built-in functions in Excel to find a delimiter, the repeating delimiter, and use that as sort of a key, and we used that dollar sign uh, to get the position. We uh, found the space after the dollar sign or yeah, the next space after the dollar sign, which was the space between the price and then the next part number <clears throat> and so on. A lot of different little details here. And so we finally pull, pulled it all together to this uh, mid function. And then I just used some of the cell references on that, but it's a combined function or formula using uh, find and um, those results. So what I wanted to do today was show you how I can perform the exact same uh, solution using Python. So without further ado, let's get started. So I did want to mention, if you haven't seen that previous video where we build that uh, mid function to parse out these substrings, I'll leave a link to that in the description of this video below. So the goal is to write this script and be able to run this and get the same results as we would using formulas, but never even have to actually open Excel. So I'm going to go ahead and close this and I will go open up Visual Studio Code text editor. You can use any text editor you want to do this. I like it because it's got an integrated terminal and you can see here that I'm CD'd into my this Python directory and just that's where I'm going to be saving my uh, file to. So let me go ahead. Let's um, add a new file and then I'm going to go ahead and turn around and save that, save as, and so I'm in that directory here, this particular directory here. So just be cognizant of that. I'm gonna go ahead and name this file split string, and um, oh, just go down here, uh, type, type as, or save as, type, go down to Python, it'll automatically generate that file extension for you, and then just hit save, and there it is, string, split string, dot py. All right, and so, the key here is to run it in my uh, integrated terminal. I just need to be in that same directory where the file is saved to. So first thing I want to do is I'm going to import pandas as py. Then I'm going to import open py Excel. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to set a variable to uh, the location of the file that I need to, it's that original file with the text string in it. So I'm going to name that workbook and it's going to equal open py Excel dot workbook and that's going to be the uh, file path all right so my file path is in the c drive and then uh, you got your full file name here so just keep that in mind make sure it's the file path where your file is saved to uh, and then the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to set a, a variable sheet to workbook.active it's only got one sheet so i'm just going to go with that and then um, I'm, I want to pull, since the value, that, that long string value is in cell A1, I'm going to set a variable called A1 equal to sheet, and then, then square, bracket, square brackets and a double quotes, cell A1. And then I'm going to set the value, that long string value, to a variable named text. So it'll be text equals A1 dot value. And at this point, I can test this out by uh, printing out that value. So I'll do print. And in parentheses, text, which is essentially is here is as we've set that equal to a one value. It's the the sheet, the cell, and then the value in the cell. So let's test that out. Let me put another. Well, we can just do this. We we'll go ahead and hit Control S to save that. Make sure it's been saved. 
And then the way we run that is we just type in Python dot, uh, not dot, Python space split. So that didn't work. And one of the things that I failed to mention was uh, we have to turn all these backslashes to forward slashes. I had totally forgotten about that. So let me do that real quick. I can do a find or, or uh, replace all, but let me just do this one at a time real quick. I should have known that because this little backslash to the T was purple. That should have tipped me off. I saw it at first, but just kind of went with it. Let's, so uh, I'm going to save that and then let's try this again. All right, so there's that full string, which is that value from cell A1. You pull it up here, you can see it's a lot of, it's a lot of data. I um, can't remember exactly how many rows that ends up being, but we can see that that's working so far. Everything is working as we plan it. So let's keep moving forward. So the next thing we need to do is, let me go ahead and just clear that little print line out. The next thing we're going to do is actually split this text. And so we're going to use a method called split. And what I'm going to do first is I'm going to set this to a variable and I'm going to call it lines. We're going to use this LS as the uh, kind of the substring we want to key off of since it, all these model numbers start with LS. So it's a pretty simple use case. So I'm going to start with this inside uh, square brackets LS and then it's going to be plus L4L in text. Remember our text is this full value up here and we're going to use this split method. So it's dot split and we're going to place inside that argument it's going to be the LS. So we're we're splitting on the LS and so what happens is when when we do this it actually removes the LS and so that's why this literal string LS here is being added back to that and then we'll add in this um, if L is not blank. And we do that with the exclamation point equals and then just uh, double quotes, repeat, repeat the double quote. So any, anyway, so this is saying we want the variable line, variable lines set to this large text string, which is the variable text dot split at the ls and so we're having to add the ls back into each one of those strings on the beginning as and and do this for every every one of those substrings or l in that larger string where the any of those substrings is not blank all right so real quick let me just go ahead and print that out and tell you show you what it looks like um, so let's do print parentheses and let's do lines i'm going to save that and then we'll run it down here in the terminal. All right, so you can see what we have here now are all these values in, in, a, in a list. Notice here's the original um, string, but now we have this list of values separated by a comma inside these quotes. But notice we have like this trailing space. So we want to get rid of that. So I, I don't want a trailing space when we put this all in a list back into a spreadsheet. So the way we do that is let's go back up here underneath that uh, lines. And then we're going to say lines again, which is what we've currently got. And we're going to use this method called um, strip. And in, specifically, we're going to use R strip, which is basically a way to remove... Uh, a value off the right end of our string. So remember, let's open uh, double quotes, I mean not double quotes, uh, square brackets, uh, L, which is each one of those substrings, so L strip, or I'm sorry, L R strip, and then the argument is going to be actually be a uh, space in between quotes, and it's going to be 4L in lines. So lines is that that entire list, and then L is each each value within that list. So I can run that now. Let me uh, save that. Now we can run this again, and we should see those uh, trailing spaces removed. I missed something up. Hold on. 
I can't control my fingers. It's not L E N lines, it's lines. All right, let me save that. And then uh <clears throat> we'll run that again. All right, so here's our results. We can go back up here and notice that there's no trailing space on these beyond those little prices. So um here was the previous one and the, so you had these trailing spaces and you go down here you see there's no trailing spaces so we're looking good all right so the next step is to put this into a new spread or a new excel file in its own excel file and so the first thing we need to do is we need to put this all in a data frame so this lines variable uh, which contains all this the, or contains this list or is this list of all these substring values i'm going to use uh, df as our um, variable name for data frames and that's going to be pd data frames pd dot data frames or i'm sorry data frame and that's going to be lines and then um, i can print that just to get a look at it in fact let me just use this other line we'll just print df Control S to save that and then run that again. Got another typo. So that should have been uh, import pandas as PD. That's what I usually use. I think that's kind of the convention. You can use PY. You just got to be consistent. I should have put PY.dataframe. So uh, just be aware. Uh, import pandas as PD. And then if I'm going to use PD.dataframe, it has to be the same. Um, so let me save that. And then let's run that. All right, so there's our data frame. And notice everything's in a list. It has this little index number, and I'm going to remove that before we put it into our Excel file, and I'll show you how to do that. All right, so the next step is going to be uh, df dot to Excel to underscore Excel. And then this is going to be the file path and file name that we want to save this to. So I'm going to use the same file path as I have up here. And I'm just going to change that file name. So control C, make sure I put that into or in between quotes. All right, I want to just, I'm just going to name this uh, parsed two rows. You can name it whatever you want to name it. Just, you know, make sure you save it to the file path that you want to save it to. And then I'm going to add a couple of other arguments to this, and that's how we're going to make sure that we don't have a header. It doesn't insert some, I think it'll insert a header that just says column if you don't have one or specify one. So I'm going to do header equals false, capital F. And then this is going to be index equals false, capital F. And this will remove these, these index numbers on the left side because I don't want them there. So uh, I don't need to print that out. I'll just put a, actually, I'll just put a little message that says done that prints to the console or the terminal. All right, so I'm going to save this, Control S, and then let's go down here and let's run it. And notice, let's go to our uh, file path here. Notice I uh, this is our um, single string to rows. And this is the old file from the formula. So there's just this, and it, we're going to watch for the addition of this new file, this parse to rows .xlsx. So I'm going to run that, and then uh, should get a message to print to the terminal. It says it's done. And let's go back over here to our folder, and there is that third file. So um, parse to rows. Let's go ahead and double click and open that. And there we have it. Uh, this is our new file, and all those substrings have now been parsed into their own row into that single column in a and there you have it so that's how you uh, do what we did with the uh, formulas in the video the previous video from last week you do this in python and you can get the same results so i hope you enjoyed that i don't know if it, you know maybe python's new to you or it's old hat whatever it is uh, it's kind of new territory for me so i like to share that i've been having a lot of fun with that so i uh, hope you enjoy it uh, be sure and like the video if you would and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment below i'd love to hear your feedback thanks for watching